Now we're going to look at the output feedback solution to the H infinity control problem. So we've already looked at the state feedback solution. In the output feedback, we're going to assume now that we have a noisy measurement. So not only do we have a disturbance on the input of the, on the input of the state, but we also have a disturbance on the measurement. And so we consider now with this noisy measurement, and here I'm assuming a um, finite energy noise, which, what exactly does that look like? Well, <laughs> there's a noise. Um, again, the um, we're going to look at it in terms of first of finite energy. Of course, we saw that the H infinity norm can apply also to RMS signals and to power signals. So it doesn't necessarily need to be a finite energy signal. We're now going to consider an estimator of this form. So notice x hat dot is equal to ax hat plus bu. And then we have this. What's this? It's an estimate of the disturbance an estimate of the disturbance. And then y hat is equal to cx hat. Notice that I don't estimate this disturbance here. I only estimate this disturbance. Okay, so well we've seen we've seen the worst disturbance before in the state feedback problem. That was um, that was generated by the um, That was generated by the, uh, the fact that the Nash equilibrium was the what basically gave the solution to the state feedback problem. Okay, so basically we have a situation that looks like this. We have two inputs to our system, two outputs to our system. We use this output, feed it back through some controller, feed it back through here. And we have now this theorem. An output feedback controller exists for the system if and only if there exists positive semi. -de Notice that P and Q don't have to be positive definite in these equations. They can be semi definite. And so, and, and that's because we don't actually have to have the system to be um, controllable and observable. If the system is controllable and observable, we can go through and show that these would be positive, strictly positive definite. But because the system is needs only to be stabilizable and detectable, then we can get semi-definite. And notice I have two algebraic Riccati equations. So they're very similar to one another. So we can see that these are like duals of one another. We've seen that kind of thing before. And here, instead of having uh, instead of having G, uh, H transpose H, we have GG transpose. So that's a dual. Here, C is, is the output matrix, and here we can see it's the dual of B, and G again is the dual. We have the duality here. So these two equations are duals of one another. And then, so these we have to have these two equations solved, and we need to have this inequality satisfied. So obviously there's a bit of stuff involved in proving that this actually does give the solution that we're looking for. But for now, just assume, just understand that all of this stuff has been proven uh, and we can just use the result. When a controller exists, one such, con in, in general, it, when a controller exists, there may be an infinite number of controllers, but one such controller is given by this expression. x hat dot is equal to ac times x hat plus ly, where now here ac is given by a plus bk plus gkd minus l times c. So it includes the best control, the worst disturbance, and the observer term. Then we have the observer gain times y and k times x hat. So k again is minus b transpose p, kd is 1 over gamma squared g transpose p, and now our observer gain 
is given by this quantity, 1 minus 1 over gamma squared QP quantity inverse times QC transpose. So we saw this quantity over here. This needed to be positive definite. And if that is positive definite, then this quantity here is invertible. We can go through and show that that quantity there is invertible. So, so this gives us the um, solution to the output feedback control problem. It gives us the controller that can be used. If we apply that controller to the system, we form the overall state uh, uh, state model. This is what we get. And we can go through and show um, that this system will be stable if such a solution exists. So I'm not giving you all the conditions under which solutions exist, but I am I'm telling you that if the solution does exist, this is the system, and we can go through and show that this system with this new A matrix, G matrix, H matrix, has uh, satisfies the bounded real lemma for some positive definite uh, or uh, or linear matrix inequality. Uh, it, it satisfies that. So this is the output feedback problem. It's a little complicated, um, and I'm not giving you the proofs. Uh, I'm not going through the proofs. It's 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 enough for you to know that this is how the solution exists. In EE552, we'll actually look in more detail at the solution of this problem.